Hello, it's Scott Manley here with part two of Real World Kerbal Space Programs. Around 1970, the Apollo missions were in full swing and the scientists were looking towards bigger and better missions. But they had to start thinking about emergency situations and so they came up with the Lunar Escape System. This was the engineer's answer as to what happened if the lunar excursion module had some critical failure that meant it was unable to achieve return to orbit. Now these things would have to travel there on the side of the lunar module itself, so weight and simplicity would have to be critical. As such, these things looked more like the lunar rover with rockets attached. If it became necessary to use this, it would be folded off the side of the lunar module and uh, assembled like an erector set. It would have its own engines and the fuel tanks would essentially be inflatable bladders that would be filled from the uh, lunar module's fuel supply. Assembly and testing would take about three hours, after which the pilots would detach their um, suits from the life support system of the lunar module and launch. From that point, they would have four hours to rendezvous with the command module orbiting the moon, because that's how long the f uh, air supplies on the suits would last. Let's be clear about this, there was no cabin. The pilots would basically be sitting in the equivalent of uh, lawn chairs in their spacesuits atop a, a framework with a couple of fuel tanks and some rockets pushing them into orbit. In an effort to keep the mass budget as low as possible, there wasn't any room for a computer or a, an altimeter, so they would basically fly a trajectory that was based on stopwatches and pitch angles. They would basically thrust a certain time at a certain angle and then change the angle. Control was supposed to be provided by a, an RCS system or by a gimballing rockets, but there was some suggestions, and this is the most awesome part, that um, the pilot could in fact just stand up on top of this and lean left and right to uh, control the pitch. Uh, basically, think of this as a lunar orbit capable segue. And with that vision in mind, I had the idea that uh, I could go out and emulate something like this. I, I have a Wii and the balance board, so I thought maybe I could hook that up to Kerbal Space Program. So I did some research and found Glove Pi, which will uh, hook up via Bluetooth. Unfortunately, none of my PCs have Bluetooth. So uh, I looked a little harder and I found that uh, I had a Mac which has Bluetooth. And there is a, an experimental uh, open source driver for this. So with visions of a, a hilarious video wherein I crash the spacecraft repeatedly while trying to fly it with a balance board, I threw caution to the wind and installed this software on my Mac. Um, now it can't even boot in single user mode without kernel panicking, so uh, I just decided to make this video and maybe someone will uh, take my idea and I can steal some credit for it. But trashing a Mac is uh, nothing compared to the dangers that these astronauts would face should they actually have to fl manually fly this thing. Yeah, they would have four hours once they got into orbit, so they would have to line up their um, the inclination of their orbit very accurately using only landmarks and lunar surface as guidance. They would uh, have to go through their launch procedure manually ticking off the maneuvers. And um, once up in orbit, they would have four hours. Yep. And um, the lunar module, uh, the not the lunar module, the command module would have to rendezvous with these guys while uh, being careful not to fry them using its own reaction control system. In the end, of course, Apollo got cancelled and there was no need for this system. It uh, exists just as a series of fascinating documents about um, what engineers thought were acceptable solutions to these problems. Now, I don't know of any mods for KSP that actually lets you fly these things, but uh, if you want to get an idea, take a look at Nova Solisco's um, plywood flyer or uh, the Europallet mod, which basically has the astronaut strapped to uh, bits of wood and maybe with the release of 0.16 and the addition of uh, astronaut models, some enterprising modders will take a look at the NASA archives and decide that this is the kind of crazy thing that they want Jebediah to be flying around the moon on. Anyway, I'm Scott Manley. See you around for part three. Fly safe.